Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. All praises to the Most High. Hope you're having a beautiful Sabbath. So the Most High wants me to declare to you the judgments of him, of God, upon kingdom marriage destroyers and marriage union separators. Why and what will happen to them? Okay? And this is so important. Matthew 19 and 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said for this cause shall a man leave his leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they twine shall be one flesh wherefore they are no more twine but one flesh what therefore god joined together let no man put asunder so the ordained husband from god and an ordained wife that God gave you, the wife God gave you, and the man God gave you. You are one flesh with that person. And nobody is supposed to come between that. And there's a reason why for that. Just like in the beginning. We're going to go into the beginning. We're going to go into Genesis. Mark 10 and 8. As it's referenced again. And they twine shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twine but one flesh. Now, in the beginning, Genesis 2 and 21, And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of a man. Now, if you come between this one flesh that God put together, he made a woman for a man. He made a specific woman for that man, and he made a specific man for that woman. All right? Now, this is the judgment for people who go against this. Genesis 20 and 7. Now, therefore, restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not... Know thou that thou, know that that thou shall surely die, thou and all that are thine. So God wants you to know even vice versa. If you took a woman's husband or if you took a man's wife, you will surely die. You and all your children and all that you have, your house, your car, everything that's yours, it will die and he will kill you. And if you have children, he will kill them. He recompenses up into your third and fourth generation. So if you've been coming against people's marriages, ordained marriages, ordained husbands, ordained wives, God said you will surely die and all that are thine, even your children and anything you have, it'll die. All right. So there's a judgment. It's it. That's why he said who God put together, let no man put asunder and it says in the beginning have you not read but why why would god kill you your children and everything that you have we're gonna get there hebrews 13 and 4 marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled but whoremongers and adulterers god will judge so you're whoremongering and you're committing adultery with a man or a woman that god never gave you he'll judge you and that's the judgment he'll give you. Genesis 20 and 7. You'll surely die and all that is thine. Now 1 Timothy 1 and 10. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, you're a man stealer, you're a woman stealer, God's going to judge you. For liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, now, Ephesians 5 and 5, for this you know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So no whoremonger, no men stealers, they don't have any inheritance in the kingdom of God. They don't have God's inheritance with the man and woman he put together. Now, Revelations 21 and 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and adulterers and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. But why? But why? Because when God ordained a man and a woman, 
He ordained that man and a woman to do what? This is the order from the beginning of creation. That have you not read in the beginning? We're in Genesis. Genesis 9 and 7. And you, be ye fruitful, and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. God never gave you to multiply with a man or a woman that is not yours. And then we're going to go to cast out the bondwoman and her children. Genesis 12 and 1. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house. A man shall leave his mother and his father's house and cleave to his wife unto a land which I have sh will show thee. So this person, this man stealer, this woman stealer are standing in the way of the blessing God blesses a man and a woman to be great, to have a great name and to have a great nation through their children. And I will make of thee a great nation and will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shall be a blessing. So this interference of the marriage is stopping God from fulfilling his promise that he made unto his creation right? To make them a great nation, to bless them, and to make their name great, and for them to be a blessing. With a person God didn't ordain for them, they're not a blessing, they're cursed. It's either you blessed or you cursed. We went through that. I made a video walking and talking about that, the blessed and the curse. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse thee. And in the in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So with your ordained wife and your ordained house husband, you will be blessed. You will, you shall, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed when you're with the spouse God gave you. Look at Adam and Eve. De Deuteronomy 7 and 4. Wherefore, it shall come to pass, if you hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swear unto thy fathers. This is the marriage covenant, people. Now we're going to keep going. And, and he will love thee and will bless thee and multiply thee. This is with the wife or the husband God ordained, with you, ordained you with. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. Your children are blessed. And the fruit of thy land, the land that you live on, and the things that you produce on the, from it will be blessed. Thy corn and thy wine and thy oil, you'll have substance and provisions when you're with the wife God gave you. Look at all the stories when Abraham left his father and mother, when Isaac left his father and mother, when Jacob turned to Israel, left his father and mother. They all had great names and they all were blessed with the, child, with the wife God gave them. You won't have that with a wife or a husband God didn't give you. Those blessings and those promises don't come to you. And the flocks of thy sheep in the land which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Genesis 21 and 10. Wherefore, this is having children with people God didn't ordain for you. And if you already did, there's a... Let's keep going. Genesis 21 and 10. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bondwoman... And her son, for remember, Abraham had a baby mama, a concubine. It wasn't his wife that God ordained from him. And she, he had to cast her away because it didn't, he wouldn't have had the prom, he, Abraham wouldn't have had the great name and the blessings of God if he never cast that concubine away. Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be here with my son. Even with Isaac, what hair is she talking about? The inheritance. Whoremongers don't get an inheritance with God. Let's go back up. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. The bondwoman, your baby mother, has no inheritance. Your baby father has no inheritance with you. Your husband and your wife that God gave you does, okay? You're supposed to cast them away. This bondwoman shall not be here with my son, even with Isaac. Now in Galatians, it tells you again, Galatians 4 and 28. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise, the promise of God. He received the promises of God. Isaac received the promises of God. 
Abraham, his dad, received the promises of God because he cast out that bondwoman and he claved to his wife that God gave him. And his son became great. And Sarah had a baby at how old? In her old age. Galatians 4 and 29. But as then, he that is born of born after the flesh, they weren't born of the spirit, that is out of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. Pride of life. Persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Even so, it is now. Ishmael tried to kill Isaac, if you didn't read old books. He tried to kill him with a bow and arrow. Galatians 4 and 30. Nevertheless, what says the scriptures? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be here with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free woman, but of the free. So do you understand that? If you even made a mistake like that, God says to cast that away from you. And when it those words that Sarah said to Abraham, they seen you know they were you know they were harsh words what he felt when and god said for him not to feel that way his wife is right cast her away now proverbs 5 and 18 let thy fountain be blessed how do you get this blessings and rejoice with the wife of thy youth the wife god gave you how do you get those blessings up here with the white the blessings up here that god said he will bless you the fruit of your room, he will bless thy land, he will bless thee, he will make you a great name and a great nation with the children that he ordained and promised to give you. Proverbs 18 and 22, whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. When you're not with the wife that God gave you, you don't obtain favor of the Lord. When you're with the wife that God gave you, you get favor and you're blessed and you get a great name and you get you're blessed in everything with wine with corn with land with everything he will not give that to you with a wife or a husband he didn't give you and anybody who comes against this a marriage that god put together you will surely die he said you will surely die because you're standing in the way of his multiplying his his creation, his fruitfulness of his creation, and him keeping his word and his promise and covenant to his creation. Because in the beginning, he made male and female. He made them one flesh. He made them twine. Marriage is honorable in all things in the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. And he tells you who he put together, let no man put asunder. Matthew 19 and 6. Wherefore they are no more twine but one flesh, what therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. What will God do to you if you've been putting asunder people's marriages? What do you think God will do to you? You will have your part in the lake of fire. You will not have an inheritance. You don't already. You don't already. Genesis, I'm looking for Genesis 20 and 7. Um, there, now, therefore, restore the man his wife. Or vice versa, restore the woman her husband, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. If you restore, if you give back, if you don't go against who God put, put together, if you stop that, and if thou restore her not, if you don't stop doing what you're doing to people's marriages, and you don't restore that man his wife, and you don't restore that woman her husband, no, thou shall surely die. Thou and all that are thine, even your children and everything you have. This is how serious God is about marriages because in the beginning he made man and female and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made a woman and brought her on to the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman because she was taken out of a man. A man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife. And you could take this up with fasting and praying. And if you've been destroying people's marriages or some type of man stealer or woman stealer, you need to repent and restore that woman back her husband and restore that man back his wife or you will surely die. Thus says the Lord.